Hey John, I wanted to give you a video update. Uh, that's what was trying to go up your fuel dip tube. That's the fuel dip tube laying across the old tank. And that's of course what was trying to to go into the uh, into the fuel system. So uh, we'll take you on in and show you the progress. We're uh, about where we wanted to be. That's where I wanted to be last Friday morning. And I wanted to be in the water Friday, but we, we didn't make it. Uh, Taylor had drill last Friday, and I didn't know that when I, when I told you we wanted to have it in the water. So I lost a man, lost two man days on Friday with him. But uh, target bunks are in place. So that's what they look like. There's two of those. Target bunks are in place. Final varnish job is done. We've uh, there's a few water, few water spots on it, but uh, um, from washing. But the final varnish job, I think you'll agree, looks wonderful. He's a wizard. Uh, of course, we fixed the. You've already seen the bootstripe. We're going to put another coat on the bootstripe, um, and we fix the edges uh, along with chine. Uh, oh, also new fuel tank. I guess you want to see that. New fuel tanks in place. Uh, fixed, uh, fixed more wiring back here as well. Uh, there's your fuel hose on your new dip tube uh, down there, and then of course your vents in the back corner and your new fuel senders in the back corner. And I haven't tested the fuel sender just yet to see what it shows. Of course, it's going to show. I guess it's going to show empty because there's nothing in it. Let's make. Let's see if it does show empty. Whew. Yeah, it shows empty. But anyway, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, all we need is a jumper back there, real quick to jumper. Jumper that. Oh, here, I can pull it off. So here's the. Take it up to the gauge. Yep. Okay, so, uh, we'll the gauge is okay. And, uh, so, and there's where your fuel, uh, that's where your fuel filter is mounted. You just take up your lower seat, lower seat frame. You don't even need to mess with your seat back. Your seat back is very difficult to get in and out. And you can spin that off like an oil filter and spin a new one on. So, uh, new tack cables in place, new shifter cables in place. So, uh, and Taylor's working on the lines. We had a little expansion, not only of the side planks, but a little expansion of the top planks with the humidity. So he's cutting off the excess. Is when it expanded, it raised the raised the lines a little bit. He's cutting the excess off. And then uh, we will uh, do just a little sanding in these grooves and tape them and paint them. And then we'll be putting hardware back on, which will take about a day. We're going to be in Alabama on, uh, on Saturday, or excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday. Should be back Wednesday night. So if, if we don't, God willing, the creek don't rise and we don't have an accident or whatever, we will be... Uh, We'll be back on this thing, and we'll have it in the water to test it this weekend. So that is your video update for Monday, the 15th of August.